Hey, hey everyone. Today I'm gonna to show you the fuzzy lookup in Excel. And we're gonna clean some data using this fuzzy lookup. Have you ever had data on the screen like me where there's capitals or spelling mistakes in business names and the addresses are all on one line, some with dashes, some with commas, it's all over the place. What we wanna do, we wanna compare this to some clean data that we might've got from the post office or another database. Now I'm gonna show you the fuzzy lookup and how to clean and match these two tables so you get this final result. So what we have here is we've got the dirty information that we had originally, and we've matched it up against the clean table of information. I've done this without a manual process. It's been very automatic, very quickly. And what the fuzzy lookup gives you is a similarity rating from zero to one. When it's one, for example, here with Prime Realty, they're 100% or near 100% confident that this is a correct match. It also gives you a similarity rating for this one at the top, for example, which is 86%, which is still good by the way, where it's matching the business name Acme Corporation with no spaces and capitals in the wrong spots to this other business name, which is very, very similar, but not 100%. They're suggesting it's around 86%. And you can see the different ratings that's given that whole table all the way down the list. So there's three steps we've got to do. Firstly, we want to get the fuzzy lookup into our ribbon. So the first step is to download that from Microsoft, and I'll show you that. The second step is to get the add-in added to your Excel. And the third step is to build this report, which is really, really simple. So just skip to where you need to, and pause and rewind also if you need to, because I do do this very quickly, just so we don't drag the video on longer than it should. So let's get started. Okay, so I just Googled fuzzy lookup add-in for Excel and went to the location for the Microsoft Download Center, found the fuzzy lookup add-in for Excel and go to the option where it says download. Up on the right hand side, the download now appears. I'm using Chrome, but it's probably very similar in whatever browser you're looking at as well. Now I select the exe file, open it up and now you can see that the pop-up appears. I'm gonna go down to install, click that, and after a couple of seconds, it should run and give you the terms and conditions. Now do your due diligence and read this properly and accept the terms and conditions once you're comfortable and select install. Again, it'll take a couple of seconds. We'll finish it off. And once this is done, the location of this file is now located and pops up on your screen. I simply just shut this down and once this is done, I'll go reopen Excel and show you how to add in the file. Okay, so now all we need to do once we've downloaded is go and open up a new Excel workbook. This pop-up might appear. I'm gonna show you how to install and if there's any sort of issues that come along the way. So this is one potential one and I'll show you how to fix it if this pops up for you. Sometimes it won't. I'm gonna press close. And that's all you need to do. So all we do to add in is we go down to options on the left hand side. We go over to add-ins on that menu. Scroll down to the bottom where it says manage. Select com add-ins and press go. Now the fuzzy lookup add-in for Excel is available. You can select this and press OK. For most people the fuzzy add-in will be here on the ribbon. But for my example, it's come up with an error, and for some of you, this might happen. So if this does, press close. We're gonna go back into File, go down to Options, and on the new menu, we're going to select Trust Center. We'll go and select Trust Center Settings on the right, and in the left menu, we're gonna select Add-ins. Mine is selected, Require Application Add-ins to be signed by a trusted publisher. I'm going to unselect that, and press OK. And don't forget, you can re-add that tick after you've done this process. And now I'm gonna go back into the add-ins on the left-hand side. Go back down to that Manage Add-ins on the bottom, Com Add-ins, and select Go. Now when I select Fuzzy Lookup Add-in for Excel, I can click that and press OK. And now we've got a new option up in the ribbon called Fuzzy Lookup. I'm gonna select it, and you can see the icon. We can start using that fuzzy lookup in this Excel and now it's on any workbook that we have open. 
Okay, so let's open up that original file and we're going to turn this dirty data that we have in this particular table and we're going to change it to this format here. We've got the dirty information matched up with the clean information and the similarity rating that Excel or the fuzzy lookup app has given it. So first thing you need to do is make sure that your information is in a table format. It only works in a table format. So to do this, if you haven't done it already, is highlight the table, go up into the ribbon to insert, select table, and now it's selected this table. I'm gonna press OK. And I'm gonna rename this table Dirty Data and press OK. I'm gonna do the same step for the clean table. I'm gonna highlight the whole table, select it, go to insert, select table, selected the table, press OK, I'm going to change the name to clean data and press enter. So now I've got the two tables set up. So I'm going to open up a new sheet. And this is where I'm going to put the new combined data. I'm going to leave it selected on cell A1. I'm going to go up into the ribbon to fuzzy lookup and go to the fuzzy lookup icon. And now you can see we've got a couple of table joins. It's already selected the two tables because they're the only ones there. You might have more tables but the left table is gonna be the dirty data. You can see the two columns there. On the right table, we're gonna have the clean data and it has the five columns there. So the next step you wanna do is match up the columns to give this fuzzy lookup a better chance of matching it. So we know that the business name is matched to the business name in the other column. That's what we're trying to match. That's all it had. So I'm gonna select those two and click that little icon. But if you remember the formatting table or the dirty data had the full address in one column and the clean table had those addresses in four separate columns. So when I go to that fuzzy lookup, I'm going to match that full address on the dirty data and I'm going to hold down control and select business state, street address, suburb and zip code. So fuzzy lookup knows to match that whole line with the four lines here in the clean data. Click that button again. Now the output columns. What this does is it brings back every column. So you've got the dirty data, the business name, the full address, and then the clean data, the business name, street address, so on and so forth. And then we've got that fuzzy lookup similarity. Now you don't have to bring back everything if you don't want. You can unselect it. But I'm going to show you to do this in this instance. I try and bring back just the one match, just so it doesn't get confusing, and leave the similarity threshold as it is. It's on cell A1, I press go, it does its thing, and now it has given us that table. I'll just open it up, and now you can see that it has matched up the dirty data with the clean data and given it that similarity rating. When I do it, I typically go and resort my whole table by the similarity. So I go to data up the top, sort it, sort it by the similarity from largest to smallest. So I start to feel confident that anything with one is matched up perfectly. I don't have to worry about it too much. For me personally, I like to do anything that's over about 85%. I'm usually pretty confident that Excel has got it right. So once we get to that 85% and we wanna go a little bit lower, this is where I just double check and make sure that it's correct and then you can continue to do it. So it is a little bit manual, but it's not as manual as if you're doing this one by one. So for example here, we've got happy kids, happy kids. It's matched up with happy kids. The address seems to be correct. This one says Florida, but now it has the, the acronym FL. It looks right to me, so I'll move on to the next one. And that's how I would use Fuzzy Lookup to clean up addresses. You can do this with everything else other than addresses. It can be names. It can be locations, a whole bunch of things, but I love Fuzzy Lookup. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, select that like button, click the subscribe, and I'll see you next time.